ah, here at the river. It was sunny before we headed out. I think we're supposed to get some rain. It's probably going to blow in sooner than they said. It's 2.08 now. Ah, on Monday. What is it? The 27th of April, 2020. Just sitting here medicating. I already rode the little bus out to, uh, out to Riverside. Met a nice old woman named Peg. We had a perfect driving record when she was my age and uh, backstabby doctor uh, caused her to lose her license and she never got it back again. Yeah, all because she had an epileptic seizure. So yeah, she was riding out to the to the dispensary. The bus driver was kind of a kind of a stressed to the point of almost meanness. A uh, woman wearing a mask, and everybody on the bus was wearing a mask. Peg pulled her little bandana down off her face when she started talking to me and talking about Aslan and shit. And talking about her cat and her life, you know. Her family's in Washington. Yeah, I already went back to the bank. I should have just invested in some uh, more potent strains of last batch. That's why I blew through it so bad. Because while well, I was trying to save money and I heard ten dollars, so I bought everything ten dollars. You see, so this time I didn't buy anything ten dollars because, well, I need to when I'm medicating to get medicated, I don't need to keep smoking like you know, I'm having a smoke down and shit, you know, smoke a fucking room up and shit, or the, smoke the van up rather, you know. Or wherever I'm smoking, like if I'm outside, it's like create a whole lot of smoke. And, you know, if you just spend five more bucks, four more bucks plus tax per gram, and get the more potent shit, then you can take a lot less hits and get more out of it. That's kind of where I'm at with cigarettes, too. The Newports are dangerous, more dangerous than other cigarettes, but they're more potent. So, like, uh, sometimes I'll get Marlboros. But uh, I smoke more of those, smoke them faster. And uh, it's like cools, man. It, it, it's like uh, just smoke one after the other, those things, man. They don't seem like they have no potency at all. So I've gotten to where like I've got developed a tolerance to nicotine and tar and uh, THC and cannabinoids, you know. So now I have to like, I have to go like, uh, really high potency to uh, feel the effects. So uh, I didn't end up having to spend any of the money I took out of the bank. Lisa just gave me some. Um, I'm trying not to spend money. It just seems like the more I try not to, the more it's getting spent. Because well, I don't know what's happening with me, my dog. I don't know what our situation is yet, what it's going to be for the future, what it's going to be for the imminent future, you know. I've just kind of I've just been leaving it in God's hands and trying to stay out of my mind about it because, well, I don't want to manifest something that God wasn't trying to manipulate or make happen, you know. And uh, in this situation, I could get real where it's like, I'm in my mind in a negative way, and I'm manifesting a lot of negative shit that I don't need to manifest. I just wait and let God and the universe and angels manifest what's supposed to happen for me and my dog, and I'll just roll with it, whatever it is, wherever we end up. So, you know, that's just where I've been. I do the best I can do where I'm at and try to be you know, wherever I'm at, I'm home no matter where I'm at, you know, uh, that mentality, um, because it creates good energy, um, which affects other entities that are exposed to the energy, the energy field, and we are called upon to, uh, try to control our energy, that's what controlling our thoughts is all about, is, uh, controlling the energy. Anyway, I'm on medication.
probably get caught in some raindrops before we end up going back. I don't know. I'm not in a hurry to head back. I should have wore a heavier coat and a heavier hat. Put this hat on. It's got the pins I was talking about. And there's the one I was talking about. And there's the player pass. It's over here, the girly girl. I don't know if y'all saw that or not. Never showed y'all this hat before. That's a Jeep hat my kid got me a long time ago. Like in 2014, 2015, when Lisa first got her Jeep, he got us two hats, a red one and a black one. They both say Jeep on them. And the red one, when people were going through this thing where they were being programmed to attack people for wearing mega hats, uh, the red one used to flare people up and get some head towards my public places and shit. And then when they saw said Jeep, they'd like all calm down and walk away. But yeah, I've almost been accosted over this red hat. And it doesn't even say nothing on it but Jeep. <laughs> so, just to let you know how bad people can be programmed. And that was all the test that everybody failed. And now, look at this. You know, where are you at today? You sitting in your house, you sitting home. Are you wearing stuff on your face to uh, break down your your immune system even more? You know, like they can make you sick? Because, well, you know, that's not going to do nothing for your health. Anybody who knows anything about shit knows that you don't wear a mask around all the time, okay? Um, you need to breathe in germs because you need your body to maintain its ability to... Uh, fight back against them, you know? And if you don't breathe in no germs ever, pretty soon you don't have no immune system. It's just a fact that you don't use um, wastes away or gets taken from you in some capacity. And that's why you got to use everything that God put in your hands to use. Make sure that it's all getting properly exercised, used, utilized, whatever. So that nothing's getting rickety, rusty, seized up from stagnation. So yeah, I've got a lot going on, so it's like I have to exercise balance. And I don't have balance. It's like I'm either all the way one way or all the way the other. Right now, I'm not doing anything music. And uh, that frees me up to do other stuff like... You know, not worry about it, about that. My next thing and having a song in the back of my head that I'm working on and shit, you know, all that stuff. It's actually, it's been liberating to take a break from all that. I'm not looking forward to getting my synthesizer back in the sense that it's gonna make me wanna work again. And uh, I work hard and I put too much into it. I need to like find a job where I can get paid by the hour or something, you know, or salary. And yeah, right when I'm getting serious about, you know, hey, I want to find a job, there's, everybody's getting laid off now because, well, this bullshit. It's like, man, it's like, every time I try to do something, there's some dumb shit happening that stops it. And now it's this dumb shit. So it's like, you know, I need to work, man, and, and, and need, I need productivity, I need to do stuff. Um, I don't know if I can get myself back into a routine where I'm getting up and going to work every day. And my health is pretty fucked up. I've, you know, fought for the last three days, I fought today. But it's like, I'm just determined, I'm not gonna lay down until I'm laid down, you know? It's like, that's how I am. I hate laying down. I don't see how people could do something like heroin that just lays you down, you know? It's like, damn, get drunk till you lay down, you know? I know I went through a little phase like that last year, eight months of laying down. But that ain't me, man. I like to smoke me some sativa and get up and get up and do some shit, get some shit done, take advantage of the, the smoke, you know? Uh, God gave us the good herb to, that we may bring forth fruit from the land. There's been many a times I wouldn't have been able to uh, pull it off delivering appliances because why? I'm physically weaker than all the other guys um, because of the female 
bullshit, you know, half female shit. It's like, uh, there's days I couldn't have went to work if I hadn't got up and smoked on a piece of doobie or something and got the, you know, medicated where I softened the reality and softened it physically for myself so I could go do the brutal shit uh, with my little girly man body. You know, that kept me in good shape. I'm 55 and I'm like, I'm in better shape than people in their 30s, so. You know, as far as like to look at me, I'm not really in shape. It's just, I have the appearance of it. The obliques and all that shit are still there. So, yeah, uh, I don't have to do a lot to maintain that. Once in a while, I'll do a set of push ups and just crunches. Maybe once a month, every two months or something. If I do it too much, then. I look too cut up, and I look like I've been working out a lot, and I haven't. Especially when I'm thin like I am now, I'm like really thin, so there's no fat to soften up the look. We're down in this gully by the river, we came down them big rickety steps that don't have a bottom no more. And he always looks down the trail wanting to come down the trails. It looks horrendous from up there, but from down here, it don't look that bad. Anyway, we walked all the way over here, and there's like this slow incline trail. <clears throat> Leads back up to the main trail at its low point. He's just loving running through all these ticks, just dumb little fucker. <laughs> it's like shit. It's tick fucking heaven, man. Come on. What are you even doing over there? He's looking for a place to roll around. You can see it on his face. Okay, so. Yeah, see, here's the. Here's the. Little point of the trail we just walked over to. Look at that. See, I followed you and you didn't lead me into a dead end. How many people know that snakes, when they find a hole, because, well, they don't dig the holes themselves. When a snake finds a hole, it'll only use it as a den if it has another way out. Otherwise, it won't get comfortable in there. Because, well, there's only one way out. And the snake likes to have an escape route. A lot of people didn't know that about snakes, I bet. They thought they were confrontational. I imagine some of them are if you get close to them. See, you're licking stuff and then you're gonna be sick. Quit that, that's bird shit on top of it. Dumb shit. Come on. On the ammo, we've already been down here. Come on, nope. I'm going that way. See, like, I feel it. There's like rain blowing in. We should probably head back. Yeah, there's probably going to be other people. We've seen cars pulling up when we were sitting over there. wants to go down. Here's the steps. After we went down the first time, and we went down to the left, a little piece of dirt on the left, because it was so hard to get over to the right. It's like, uh, he usually comes and stands here and decides he doesn't want to go down. Today, he walked back to it and decided to go down. So I followed him down. We went down, and he turned around to come back up. We ended up I got him to follow me through some sticks over the side. So his inclination to take a trail down is actually probably a better idea in that case. Because of the steps are pretty hard to deal with at the bottom just to get to some land. He's burying a bone. He wanted to come back here after all that, we walked 
Oh, that we didn't go around the loop though, because we did that extra walking. Come back, get his water as usual. This time he doesn't waste it, he drinks it. Gave him a nice brown bone. So he took it over there and buried it. And he's gonna sit here and chew on sticks. I keep taking sticks away from him. And he's chewing, eating. There's like two or three of them down there. He sits here and eats wood. Down these steps over here, up the river a little bit. He wanted to go over there. Usually he walks up there, but he stopped right there. I didn't notice it because his fur is so big. He's, it's fucking, that's human shit. So somebody came down here and shit right there by the steps. He couldn't even go off over there. So I was like, damn. So I hope he didn't lick it. Dumb shit. <laughs>